Please activate the subtitles. This video is going to be very quick. This is the first color news with me, Roger Color, your delicious teacher. And today we're going to talk about something that happened last week. I don't know when I'll post this video, but in my perspective, it happened last week. Roger Waters from the band Pink Floyd came to play here in Brazil, and he divided the crowd when he stated his anti-Bolsonaro comments. Some people applauded him, and many, but many people booed him. And I've seen many people extremely surprised, shocked and triggered by his attitude. First of all, let me show you what happened. And please, activate the subtitles, it's really important. So please, activate the subtitles. Okay, have you done that? So, check it out. You do have a very important election coming up in three weeks' time. So, at some point, you're going to have to decide who you want your next president to be. I know it's none of my business. Except that... By and large, I am against the resurgence of fascism all over the world. And as a believer in human rights, and that includes the right to peaceful protest under the law, I would prefer not to live under the rule of somebody who believes military dictatorship is a good thing. I remember the bad old days in South America with the hunters of the military dictatorships, and it was ugly. Okay, one thing that I can't understand is why these people were surprised when he said those things because he has always done that. Everywhere he goes, there is a moment during his concert that he stops and he says political things about that specific country. I was expecting that he would do that and he has always been openly a left-wing activist. Even though he has already been against left-wing government, uh, you know, most of his life and lyrics are against the right-wing movement and the right-wing governments that are spread all over the world so he was against Trump he was against every right-wing government I was surprised to see that people were shocked about what happened last week here in Brazil because it was an expensive concert I mean how does someone pay 400 reais to go to a concert without understanding the lyrics of the songs of the band that you love <laughs> yeah, it's funny you know I'm not saying that Roger Waters was right to do that but I knew he would do that before he even did that because he always does that. Roger's father was a school teacher and a Communist Party member. He was killed in 1944 when Roger Waters was only five months old. By the way, some people call Pink Floyd as Political Floyd due to the fact that their lyrics are loaded with political content. I've separated here some of their songs to prove you that. Please pause and when you have time, listen to these songs and notice that they have always been very active politically. These are their songs about fascism and Nazism, war, human rights, Dictatorship, capitalism, religion and power, It's true that in 2004 he admitted that he could not be called a socialist anymore by saying I've got to accept that I became a capitalist, I could no longer pretend that I was a true socialist. Yeah, he made millions with his band and that's a lot of money for someone against capitalism. But really, I'm not here to judge him. I've got to confess that I couldn't care less about his political views. I love Pink Floyd, especially for their songs which are not related to politics. Songs about mental disability, space exploration, science fiction, anxiety, so on and so forth. What I mean is, their songs are about many things, not only about political thoughts. However, as I said in the beginning of this video, people were shocked and surprised when Roger Waters said that he was opposed to Bolsonaro, but they shouldn't be shocked because he's known as a person who always does that. He always stops his concert for a while to talk about politics and his left-wing views. I mean, if you go to a Pink Floyd concert and you are shocked when you find out that Roger Waters has socialist ideas and views, then you're probably listening to Pink Floyd without paying attention to the lyrics. I mean, it shows our political protests against ideas that Bolsonaro defends, and many people were shocked when he said that he was against Bolsonaro. So what's going on? Why did you go there? Why did you even go to his concert? 
what he did was totally expected he's done that in mexico in england in the usa in south africa in brazil so on and so forth therefore there shouldn't be any surprise or shock when he did that here in brazil last week so it's sort of funny in a way I'm not saying that he was right to do that, I've already been to a concert in which he did that and I've got to say that I don't like it. I personally go to Pink Floyd's concert in order to listen to their old songs. I couldn't care less about his political ideas. For me, it's always a boring moment of his shows. But his songs are so freaking amazing that it all pays off when he stops speaking and he starts playing and singing. This guy is truly talented and I'll always love Pink Floyd no matter what. But what's your opinion about this? Were you shocked when Roger Waters said bad things about Bolsonaro? Do you think he was right? Was he wrong in your opinion? Please leave a comment. Yeah, I want the comment section to be on fire. <laughs> well, thank you very much for watching this video. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, like our page on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. Please join our group on Telegram and practice your English through voice messages and text messages. If you like my channel, please become a patron. I'm thinking about starting to post podcasts only for patrons, so yeah. Tell me what you think about it. I haven't started doing that yet, but that's my plan. Would you like to listen to my podcasts? Thank you very much for watching this video. This is the first episode of Color News. Tell me if you like this idea. Thank you very much for everything and I'll see you next class.